Good morning, friends. It's been fall, and I honestly love this season. Kasi ang ganda niya tignan. It's like a feast to my eyes, but not really to my nose and my throat. That's why we're having this tea. Kasi um, my nose really gets congested throughout the day, and I think I'm really having seasonal allergies. But I'm glad this decongestant works. Mabilis tong gumagana sa akin. It's just that I woke up this morning and kind of like my throat hurts. I think for quite some time that I was sleeping, nawalan to ng effectivity and my nose were back congested. So for quite some time, I think I was breathing through my throat. Kaya nag dry siya and that's why I feel a little bit of pain. But before I sleep, I I use this and it's been really working the past few days i just don't know what what happened this morning and why i woke up with a little bit of a sore throat but we're having this you guys also saw how i used fresh ginger juice in a frozen cube earlier and i did that yesterday because i had a lot of um ginger and turmeric in my fridge and I noticed that they're starting to get dry and wrinkly and I don't want to waste that so I decided to preserve them yesterday and in a minute I'm gonna show you how I did that but I think it's important to really have ginger especially ginger and also turmeric this season especially everyone's getting sick it's flu season and also seasonal allergy like what I'm having right now the ginger and turmeric is not just for tea, drinks, or smoothies. Yeah, you can blend it with smoothies too, but also for cooking. Ginger is also good for cooking, especially if you're doing some seafood, which I love. So ginger would really come in handy. So let me show you guys how I did that, and let's roll the clip back to yesterday. Hello, friends. Let's preserve my ginger and turmeric before they go all wrinkly and dry let's take all the juice out while we still can because i forgot to the fridge ko. i was just so busy so let me show you how i do a food storage for this one this is my little juicer and i hinugasan ko na to guys so it's okay if you don't want to peel them because you don't really need to because you're just gonna take the juice Okay, that's done. Remember the silicone tray, you guys, where we put our minced garlic and onion? I do have a lot of empty slots. And I want to just put here some of the juice since konti lang naman. Perfect. Okay, let's do this real quick. I still have remnants of turmeric here, but it's okay. I don't mind it mixing a bit. Okay, and then let's just pour it here again. Yay! Okay, we're done. Okay, let's cover and let's put this in the freezer. 
for my quick breakfast, I'm having my mushroom nachos. It looks so good and it tastes so good. Invento ko to guys with my carnivore crisps. Hmm. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Ito siya guys. I mean, naubos ko na tong pack na to kasi ginamit ko dito. But, I'm linking this below for <coughs> for all my friends out there trying to hit their protein in a day. And this whole bag actually has 24 grams of protein. It's just a 12 yung nakalagay dyan because this bag has 2 servings. And this is beef heart but they have a lot of meat types and honestly favorite ko yung top sirloin beef and yung beef brisket which is naubos ko na so i'm having the beef heart instead and favorite ko yung dalawa na yon yung beef brisket and top sirloin beef kasi they literally taste like korean barbecue alam yung beef belly and yung brisket sa korean barbecue they really taste like that and yeah i use it as my like nacho chips the carnivore crisp and then my mushroom sauce has cottage cheese in it so i'm taking this as like my nacho cheese this mushroom sauce is just so easy to do guys so in the pan i just put avocado oil saute my garlic and my mushrooms and then add my red onions preferably red onions and then caramelize it a bit add flour cook that flour and then add a milk of your choice i don't have my usual evaporated milk or heavy cream so i'm just using my oat milk and it works and then add a little bit of beef cube or beef powder mix it and then add a chunk of cottage cheese for a healthy protein add a little bit of pepper and there you go you have your own mushroom nacho cheese today is pretty chill for me i'm taking this day as my little sunday reset because i'm done i finished all the work that I needed to do for the week, all the filming and editing with a deadline. So it's time to dedicate the day for my home and myself. So. So for the second part of this video, I'd like to give you guys a little apartment tour Because I think the last time I did one was years ago And that was when I just moved in and my apartment was barely together But now I'm so proud of how far this space have come in terms of the coziness, the functionality And the creativity when it comes to making the most out of a tiny space that I have if you guys know I live in a studio apartment and most importantly how homey I made this place feel for me and also my growth when it comes to having that vision of what I like to have as a living space so not gonna lie guys when I first moved here I was not really expecting that I'd last three years because as a content creator that time, everyone seemed to be living in a big loft luxury apartment and it was just not me. And I used to compare myself a lot, especially 
my rent here in America for a small studio apartment is the same monthly rent of a big luxury apartment in the Philippines and I totally felt like I was missing out a lot but it is so unhealthy to compare yourself to others and just throw away your own achievements so I just had to reflect about it deeply and focused on myself focus on my own path and journey and I realized that I am honestly at the right place at the right time and I how grateful I am to be living independently here in America and I have come a long way to provide for myself give myself this calming peaceful mentally healthy environment for me to live in and also for the last years guys real talk like to be freaking honest hindi ka lang basta basta maka move ako hindi ako basta basta maka move lang kasi the rent prices just keeps increasing every year and eto yung rent ko dito sa apartment na to keeps increasing every year as well and mind you this apartment is already one of the cheapest in my city because this building is not modern this was a hotel in the 80s and other apartments right now are like 1500 guys for a studio apartment and it, it's insane and that's why i'm just very happy to just stay here for now i don't want to put myself through that big of an expense and i love how this apartment makes me live below my means i get to save money somehow and invest that save money instead onto other assets instead of getting a new modern apartment you know what i mean and lastly i realized how truly perfect this apartment is for me it really allows me to do what i want to do my bathroom turns into a spa if i want to relax my tiny kitchen makes me cook mighty nutritious meals i have a cute little area to dine i have the coolest little couch my curtain divider doubles as my backdrop for content since it's my job rio has his own functional nook i have a nice wall to use my projector at night if i want to watch and lastly i'm a city girl and i love the city views and I'm so happy and lucky to get all that building and neon light goodness at night through my window okay apartment tour so this is my door the only door in this apartment where you can enter and I just put here a red ribbon wala lang for the vibes and I like it it's cute and now we're here in my little hallway and to my right right here is my built-in closet it has a rack right here and if you are on my broadcast channel you would know that i like to play dress up a lot and i have outfits end up in hangers and the hangers end up here like this this used to be just open for the world to see but then i thought it would be more neat to put a curtain on a tension rod over here so that's what I did that's why it looks so much more neat like this and then right here I have rattan baskets and this snake plant right here it's a real plant you guys and I like to put it up here just so Rio won't reach it because this is like the first plant I got from my apartment <laughs> and um, that was when I did not have Rio yet and I learned that snake plant is toxic for dogs so I make sure to just keep it in a higher place just so Rio won't reach it and it's here and then right here um, is my shoe cabinet it's metal and it's a little bit shaky when you try to open it because you're supposed to nail this on the wall but I did not do that so it's just right here and I have here my favorite boots and right here um like you saw are just my random shoes my adidas converse uggs yeezys some new balance and then right here is where most of my jordans are not sure if you guys can see but that's that and then right here here we have more rattan 
baskets because i just love the look of them and i i keep all these baskets for storage purposes in case i need them because you know i always get packages and all that and i don't want to stack the boxes here so sometimes i just keep them here in these um rattan storage baskets just so it's not hurting my eyes and i love the look of this honestly I, I keep this space minimally or neutrally colored and then right here is my robot vacuum by the way it vacuums mops and empties itself for me such an amazing splurge and i really think this is one of my apartment's best investments and if you're looking for one especially maggie christmas na i highly recommend this one and it's so worth your money i'll leave the link below in my description box and right here is my air purifier it's not turned on right now because it could be a little noisy so turn off muna siya, but this is where i keep it and right here is my go-to luggage for when i travel domestically around here in the states and here is my um growing shoe designer shoe collection i love how the boxes are minimally and neutrally colored as well except my prada one this is my prada one it came in a blue box and i don't want the blue box so i got me my ug i think this is my ug or my new balance box and i put it in there it fits and it works so i'm happy and right here um ginamit ko to nung isang araw when i shot a content for instagram and dito na lang siya naiwan so it just sits right there and right here i don't know if y'all can see but this is my floor lamp when I need this space to be brightened up at night. Say I'm looking for something, so keep it here handy. And then this right here is the other side of my fridge. So I put um, a magnetic rack, the magnets to my fridge. So this is where I hang my keys, some knickknacks, Rio's leash for, you know, when I come home i enter from my door it's so easy to just not lose my stuff and just hang it here and then few steps back is my bathroom so let me show you this is where i put this art by the way if you remember um i bought this from a local artist here it's a park near me and it says nevada and it's a uh, looking like an old vintage car and I have nowhere to put it, so I just put it here on my door. So let's go to my bathroom. Okay, when you first enter my bathroom, this is what you'll see. I have here a stash of towels, my shower cap, and down here is my detergent for when I need to quickly wash a stained clothes, let's say. And then also I use that to clean some of Rio's stuff that I don't want to use a harsh detergent on because this detergent is just very low tox. That's why, you know, it, it looks clear. And then right here is actually a tissue rack. You're supposed to put tissue here, but then I repurposed it to be just container for my trash can plastic bags and then down here are my cleaning materials right here is my small very slim laundry bag and this is a towel i use for my feet next to this rug because this is my shower also in this bathroom the lights are motion activated so i usually just enter the bathroom and then the lights will turn on and as y'all remember i said this apartment is built in the 1980s and it was an old hotel so it's very reflected on the old wallpaper and the tiles i swear my tiles are really clean it's just that i would have to use harsh chemicals for the grout to brighten but i don't want to put myself through that for now so i also don't have enough storage in this bathroom there's no cabinets so i I know this is really messy, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is honestly not my most proud area, but this is my sink. And I have here this filtered faucet for my skin. So it goes like that and you can switch it to however you want. And I have here this corner rack because I don't like a regular rack. And this is like the best for a little space that I have, as you can see. And I also have here this toothbrush rack it was mostly useful when i had not switched to electric toothbrush yet but i still keep it because i have extra toothbrush for guests aka russell when he comes over i make him use that 
right here is my RF device. You remember a mirror? Put it here, and then I have here this little plant. It's honestly dying. It's a real plant, but it's dying now because I always forget to to water it. And right here is my favorite bathroom find to be honest because as y'all can see i don't have much like i said cabinets and drawers here in this bathroom so i had to improvise storages and i was looking for a drawer something like this to put my skincare products on that would be easy for me to just you know get instead of having it down here because down here are mostly my hair tools my stocks of shampoo and conditioner and all that and right here is mostly for my my face and i am so happy about this drawer because all the drawers i find on um, amazon are like square and rectanglish and i find those a little boring and i'm happy that i found this one because it's round and it fits all of my skincare needs my flaws my whitening strips you will see a lot of like round things here in my apartment that are usually sold or built rectanglish or square and right here is my bathtub you guys already know my main shower area i love being here in my bathtub i like soaking my body now from the bathroom few steps is my kitchen you guys already know this area by now i think because i always show it in my videos but this is my fridge um this came with the apartment so i kept it and this is what i've been using since and these are just some random knickknacks that i got as souvenir from places i visit some places i visit i think this one is from florida and then this is from new york and i have here some sticky notes of some recipes that are my go-to meals and then right here um is my pull-out rack on top of it is my rice cooker and my small electric kettle and then this rack contains you know more stuff for storage and at the back back it's a little bit messy but this is where i hide my water bottles and then here is my simple electric stove my exhaust and light and right here i just keep my sugar jar knife air fryer my tiny sink my apron microwave is here kitchen towel is here and the cabinets are again for storage and my pantry and i like to use these over the door over the door racks to maximize the space here in my cabinets and that's it you guys let's move on to my main living area and let's close these curtains okay welcome to our main living area so this curtain is hanging by a tension rod that runs across the room and i love these curtains by the way i did not expect them to be this good honestly when i bought these kasi nang wula lang ako sa amazon that time but these are back tab curtains i love how they don't have the what do you call that the rod showing these curtains are very opaque and temperature control so when i am cooking on the other side on my kitchen it literally traps all the heat and some of the smell so it never really goes here on my main living area which i find really really cool and i highly suggest these curtains and right here is my main like little receiving area i have here my little couch my cute pillow and that accent drippy chrome table over there and this is where i mostly film my instagram reels also where i chill also where the visitors sit and right here is my armoire or main closet i love how it's mirrored so it makes my whole room bigger or appear bigger also one thing that makes me feel like my apartment is really homey is because i have these tan brown woody floors and i'm glad i was not allowed to repaint my walls white because i appreciate the warm peachy color and it just makes the whole space look alive and i'm glad that i learned to appreciate colors and 
Because before, I was just really all into white, black, gray, which are like all dead colors. And I'm just so happy that now I grew and like appreciated colors more. That's why I also like to incorporate earthy tones here in my apartment like the rattan accents cream brown colors and green because it just makes the space feel so much more homey anyway moving on to one of my most most favorite areas here in my apartment is my dining space as y'all can see these paintings if you remember i bought these two frames online and this one we painted at the park we had a vlog about that and etong tatlong frame lang talaga yung nand nandito nung una de ba pero eventually when I looked at it all the squares and the rectangle were just boring me and bothering me because one thing about me guys I really love round objects and so I just had to get or put here round accents so I thought of getting this wall planter it's also woody it has some wood accents i don't feel like see but yeah it's a wall planter and i have here this dried rose one of my dried flowers from my old flowers right here and then that oval clock you guys when i found it on etsy i mean di ko siya nakita sa etsy agad i was just really looking for a clock that looks different i mean a clock is round but then i just felt like um, when I put just a simple round clock there, I just don't think it would tie the look together. So, on Etsy is where I found the oval clock. Sa Etsy, guys, marami talaga kayo makikita ang mga kung ano-ano doon na mga unique na bagay. So, I suggest going on Etsy and finding some stuff. So, yeah, I'm really obsessed with that oval clock. And mind you guys, it works. That clock is not just for display. It really works and it's also like a black washed wood. So... I love what it's giving and right here this is a tulip table and um, I have here also a round looking chair this is a round table round looking chair with the rattan accents and I have here this rattan placemat just so they kind of match and I have here my fresh flowers and it really makes such a difference here in the space to have something alive and fresh you know so i highly suggest that when you do groceries grab some flowers because it really makes a difference and then of course since i don't have a dining room i need to separate this area from the rest of the room so a good way to do that is to have an area rug and i love this rug because it just goes so well to the space and to the color of my floor and loki it literally matches rio's fur and then few steps from my dining area is my bed. I love it here, you guys. This is where I spend most of my time. And it's just so simple. My bed has drawers under on this side for more storage where I keep my workout clothes, some bikinis. Here is a very cozy comforter. I love this one. And I have here my contoured memory foam pillow i love this and this right here is my favorite side table you guys it's yellow it's round and look at the leg it's giving it's giving tiny bubbles and this table is like an accent side table but at the same time it's very very functional because this is where i put my work notebook my journal and for when i'm eating and i'm lazy to put my dish to the sink and also when i'm editing i usually edit here on my bed and when i'm tired editing for the night i just put here my laptop and go to sleep and it's very very functional so i really love this table and i just wanted a pop of color as well because as y'all can see my bed is just plain white and it would be nice to have a little pop of color and this right here is a purple poster that i bought printed online and it is very intentional for me to really get this big closet to also act as a little divider for my bed area for it to be separated from the rest of the room somehow. I have here this faux fake <laughs> plant. This is not my proudest moment, you guys. I really tried to have a real pothos plant over there, but then I just can't keep it alive. So, <laughs> we'll just stick to a fake plant for now and i just love this area at first this was just all white and it was so boring for me and i love the combination of this purple green and yellow they just 
really complement each other and ang sarap niya sa mata ko so I keep it here and also this one you might not see it very well because it's it's bright but this is a neon sign a green neon lettering sign that says diva and the backstory for that is that it's Beyonce's song diva is a female version of a hustler so I put it there because I'm a hustler and on the other side of the bed is another bedside table slash drawer. This is where I mostly keep my, you know, nasal spray, eye drops. And up here is my clock, my projector, a tissue holder. I love my projector, you guys. This is like one of my favorite things in my apartment. And I just, you know, project it and watch at night because the wall across me is blank and it's perfect as a canvas for my projector down here on my bed is like i said mga drawers but basically this whole thing is like rio's nook let me show you pov this is rio's nook rio's bed my full length mirror i honestly want to replace this with something else in the future my plant this is right next to rio's bed because it's okay this is not toxic for dogs it's safe and i want the plant accent right here and then up here is my big bright window i love her and i have here on my windowsill my crystals back to rio's nook those are his food and water bowls they're ceramic i love how they match my floors and then that's rio's potty area he needs the grass he needs the grass texture for him to go and i decorated it with that accent it's just so funny and cute from here is my vanity slash work table this is where i mostly do my hair and makeup sometimes where i edit when i really need to be serious and i need to focus and all these drawers and cabinets are filled with camera equipment some tech stuff my hair and makeup and i know there's so much going on because there's so much going on in this in this area and i like to just make it colorful and fun just so it's it's refreshing for me you know and i also have here some fairy lights but y'all can see it because it's it's bright right now and yeah this is such a functional space and i love this area and that's it you guys i'm very proud how homey i was able to make this space and this apartment is truly truly my sanctuary this was my escape and fun fact you guys when i moved from new jersey um i did not really expect to end up here in nevada because my first choice was to live in san jose california because that's where my um closest relative is but then the room that i was gonna live there did not work out so the next closest dear person i know here in america is russell and he lives close to here in nevada so this is where i ended up being and i'm very happy that this is where the universe and the fate has taken me i'm very grateful to be here it is so beautiful in my eyes it is so enough for me at this point in my life and i'm excited as to how much more this space could improve but at the same time i am looking forward to of course maybe move in the future in a bigger apartment with balcony and a bigger kitchen and all of that but for now this is so perfect for me and i am very satisfied and that's it you guys thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one say bye mio bye